All right, guys, uh, welcome to a new video. My name is Harmon. Today we're discussing the Thurston High School shooting that took place on May 20th and May 21st of 1998. The perpetrator was 15 year old Kip Kinkle. And right now we're at the school. The shooting actually took place the day before on May 20th, 1998. And we're gonna get into all the details of what happened. So on May 20th, Kip Kinkle bought a handgun, $110 worth of ammunition and the handgun from his uh, friend. And the friend actually stole it from a different friend's father. And when uh, the friend's father found out, he contacted the school here. They got in hold of Kip and asked him if he had a gun on him. And apparently Kip stated that, yes, yes I do. I have my handgun in my backpack. So they searched his backpack in his locker and they found the handgun. He was expelled from school pending a hearing and he also was arrested for the, for the felonies. He was released from the police station, picked up by his father and uh, brought back home. When Kip returned home, he retrieved another handgun that his father had and the ammunition and ended up going into the kitchen where his dad was sitting at the counter drinking coffee. He ended up shooting his father in the back of the head one time, killing him instantly. Kip then dragged his father's body out of the kitchen and waited till his mom returned back home. When his mom returned back home, he told her that, I love you, mom, I love you. And he ended up shooting her numerous times. He ended up shooting her several times in the face and also in the heart, killing her there, killing her there as well. Then waited out the night until the next morning where he took the handgun, tons of ammunition, and uh, his mom's minivan and ended up going to the school here around seven or so in the morning. He had a trench coat on as well as five different weapons, including uh, two different knives, a rifle, and two different pistols walked into this patio area and uh, opened fire, shooting twice. Uh, ended up killing a student named Ben Walker. Went into the cafeteria area and ended up shooting dozens and dozens of rounds, about 48 rounds or so, and ended up killing another student, 17-year-old uh, Michael Nicolason. He attempted to shoot some more, but he was actually subdued by about six or seven different students the police were able to come and physically restrain him and arrest him for the two murders. They, of course, uh, arrested him for his parents' murders after the fact. Now, uh, Kip had apparently told the police that he uh, had been hearing voices telling him to kill and that he had to follow the voices um, that were basically telling him to kill people and he attempted to actually stab an officer at the police station uh, with one of the knives he had, uh, but I guess they subdued him with pepper spray. Kip was uh, finally convicted and ended up getting 111 years in prison. And so he is currently serving his prison sentence, uh, I believe still in an Oregon uh, prison unless they transferred him to somewhere else. Kip Kinkle reportedly had numerous different mental illnesses that he was dealing with. That seems to be kind of the main cause of why he wanted to kill people, but also he told the police that he had the two felonies on his record from buying the stolen handgun and having it in his possession. Those were kind of the main two reasons why I ended up doing the shooting. At an early age, Kip Kinkle expressed interest in firearms and explosives. And originally, his dad refused to give him any handguns or anything. However, he kind of gave up on that fact and ended up purchasing a rifle and a 9mm handgun for Kip. Before the shooting took place, Kip apparently told many people that uh, he was very interested in committing acts of violence. His classmates described him as paranoid, schizophrenic, weird, scary fellow. All right, guys, we're at the Springfield Memorial Cemetery, and this is where 16-year-old Ben Walker is buried. Again, he was the fourth victim in the Thurston High School shooting. And it says that Ben 
uh, was a really easygoing kid. Uh, it says that he loved Ace Ventura and Final Fantasy uh, video games and apparently wanted to own his own brewery when he was older. And again, unfortunately, many of his dreams and aspirations never got to unfold, but uh, his grave is right here. Now, this is the Sunset Hill Cemetery, and Kip Kinkle's parents, William and Faith Kinkle, are uh, interred here. They're not buried here, but they're interred here. Uh, so they have like a little memorial plaque. One of the victims at the school who was killed, uh, his name was Michael Nicolaussen, and he's actually buried here. To give you some background, Michael was 17 years old when he was killed inside the school. He was engaged, uh, he had a fiance. This is Michael Nico Lawson's grave right here. It looks like it could be Michael or Mikkel. Um, I assume it's Michael, but let me know if it's pronounced any differently. He was also in the National Guard, and so he was actually buried with uh, like full military honors, I guess. And basically right across this little street, this is where uh, Kip Kinkle's parents are interred.